Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tag. It's called the Harry Potter tag. Yeah! Love the Harry Potter series. Um, and I am going to answer 14 questions, I think it is, and about my favorite things about Harry Potter, what Harry Potter means to me, which I'm not really sure what that question's about, but we'll see. So let's get started. My favorite book was The Order of the Phoenix and the Half-Blood Prince because I felt like most of what the story was about was in those two books. Like it pieced everything together. Um, it was pretty sad about Sirius and Professor Snape, but other than that, it was a fantastic book. My favorite movie was Deathly Hollows Part 2 because the graphic and the fight scenes were amazing. Um, it definitely had the most action out of all of the movies for obvious reasons, but the way they formed everything was amazing and you felt like you were there fighting with them. Um, I know that sounds weird, but it was just so realistic that um, it was great. My least favorite book was um, The Goblet of Fire. I just felt like it totally was an unnecessary book. I mean, there were parts that that were, but it, it really wasn't really all that necessary. Um, there was no point, in my opinion. A lot of people would disagree with me, but I still stand where I stand. Um, sorry. I started to tear up in the Half-Blood Prince when Professor Snape had his vision um, that he shares with Harry Potter. I'm not going to go too into it because I don't want to ruin it um, if you haven't seen the movie or read the books. But it's just so sad and I had no idea it was even coming. Um, so when it did, I felt bad for Professor Snape and even sad for Harry a little. But I found it odd because throughout the whole book I just I hated Professor Snape and then he shows the side of him that you just you feel bad for him and everything makes sense on why he treats um, Harry the way he treats Harry is it cheesy that I say Harry but yeah he's a man He's brave, he's honest, and awkwardly attractive. Um, Harry Potter, because as I said above, he is brave and, um, he's brave and strong, uh, he's smart, and he's always thinking on his feet. It's no wonder he's so liked, but he also knows who he's true friends are and who his fake friends are who you know just want to talk to the boy who lived I also really like Hermione because of a lot of the books especially Twilight make it seem like they need the man in the story and Hermione never needed a man she loved Ron and wanted to be with him but she was also very content without him and I think Ron knew that Okay, this is going to sound awful, but I think it would be a Mockingjay, just because as much as I love the Harry Potter series, um, I, I love the Hunger Games too, so I'd like to think it would be a Mockingjay. Gryffindor! Yeah! I would want to meet Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson because they did such a good job playing Harry Potter and Hermione Granger. I I couldn't imagine anyone else playing those those parts. Um, I feel bad for Rupert, I think his name is, who plays Ron. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm all set. Thanks anyways. Yeah. 
I did play one, but I wasn't all excited about it. Thank God I rented it and didn't buy it because it was it was awful. I think I played it for like 20 minutes and got bored and then returned it the same day I got it. <laughs> I would be the seeker, obviously, <laughs> because I think it would be cool to chase the snitch and see if I could catch it. It'd be really exciting. I don't think I would catch it, but it would be fun to see if I could. <laughs> the effort would be interesting. <laughs> I think it ended perfectly, yes, and it couldn't have ended any better way. I'm not really uh, sure what this question means. Um, like, I understand the question, but I don't know how to answer it. I mean, what does Harry Potter mean to me? I, I don't know. It, it It's a great book series, but it doesn't really mean anything. Um, it, it's just one woman who has an incredible mind, and she has not only put it in the hearts of young children, but young adults and even adults and the elderly. I mean, people read these books all ages, and she is a millionaire now because of it, but it's more than that. She just... J.K. Rowling is amazing, and the Harry Potter series is amazing. I guess that's what Harry Potter means to me. So, with that said, that is it, and I, um... We'll see you in my next video. Bye.